Hey guys, today we're going to make a mini Easter village. I call this the table topper Easter village because it's the perfect size for putting on a cake plate or for a centerpiece. I'm going to show you how to put together all these pieces. It makes such a darling um, vignette. Okay, I'm gonna start by showing you how to put together the Easter egg house. Um, you can see that I've already pop dotted on some of these eggs. All you have to do is glue. I use stick glue to glue all of these eggs together and you can see that I've got some pieces here together. I am gonna pop dot these, I just wanted to show you how to do this piece of it. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. So um, I am going to pop dot this um, pink egg first, just right on this door. And then this one you can decide, I really want it to have a lot of dimension, so I'm actually going to double pop dot it. So, and you'll see me use that a couple of times as a technique to get things further out. And actually before I place this one, I'm going to place the door, which you do glue together two pieces for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna single top pop dot this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put the door on like that, and then this one's double pop dotted, and it should stick out quite a bit more than the other two. There you go. Okay, so I'm not gonna glue this on. First, I just wanna show you how to put together this. It's made like a lot of my other houses, but we're just going to fold where all the score lines are. Just like that. And now we're going to hot glue all of these areas together. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to hot glue down these top tabs. Just do one side at a time. They're pretty small. You could even use stick glue, but for the sake of time, this just like glues up so much faster. And it's going to get covered by a roof, so I don't really care about any hot glue mess. Okay, so this is the front of the house. These are the back pieces of the house. If you want to go ahead and glue on um, the roof first, you can. Put hot glue on both sides of that. And try your best to center it. That's why I'm using both of my hands so that I get a little bit of a edge on both sides. And then this last little bit, we're just gonna glue right to the front, just like that. Now, if you wanted to pop dot it again, you absolutely could. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna glue it right on, and I'm actually going to use stick glue. That way, if I need to move it around, I can. The other thing is you can use pop dots, and that allows you to move it around, too. There you go.
that is your Easter egg house. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so this is your garden base. Um, it's a little different, and you could absolutely use like the Valentine's base if you wanted to, to do a different look. You could also do these in colors. Mine's just brown. And I'm just gonna use stick glue here. So every one of these bases that I create for these, you know, mini villages I do um, are a little bit different and you can interchange them, but they're all the same size. What I like about this one, the reason I don't have it going through the entire thing is because I have a garden piece for this village and that takes up some room. So I wanted that to have like an open place to be, okay? And just glue the back of this. I like stick glue for this because then you don't have to worry about bumps, which can happen sometimes. And then you're just gonna find the edge where that fits the best and glue it on. Okay, so there's your base. Pretty easy and basic to get that base together. Okay, this is the spring cottage. There's quite a few small pieces. You can see I've already glued on, I've pop dotted on eggs on either side and glued on the door and the windows. These have little egg window pieces just like that. So we're gonna build the base first by just using the score lines. Okay, and then we're just gonna glue this together. I'm gonna start with just the bottoms. Do the roof lines. This will have a roof on it, so don't get stressed about your your glue lines here. It's mostly just getting it all into place. You can see that there are some variations. This is like a similar like base to maybe like one of the pieces in like my Valentine's Village but there's usually some kind of variation that makes it so that you can't interchange those types of pieces, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the roof on this one. You can see this is the front of the house right here. You have to get that on pretty quick when you use hot glue. Look how cute that house is, isn't that darling? Okay, so now we're gonna build the top piece and we're gonna start by folding in the tabs here. These are the sides of the top piece. And then these right here are kind of the front, uh, the side. I don't know how to describe it. They're like the roof lines, basically. So they're gonna go like this, if that makes sense. So we're gonna glue on one side first, just like that. And you can see, I'm actually not gonna glue, glue that top piece yet. I'm gonna do this other side next. like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. There we 
we go. And then we're now gonna glue down the top pieces. Okay, so this sits almost like a chapel piece right here on the top. And you'll notice there aren't any tabs. There's a reason for that. Because you want it to, to fit down on there nicely and it kind of struggles if not. So, so what I recommend is actually putting a little bit of glue right here on the edge of both sides and then pushing it down pretty hard. So this will make it hold pretty good and it gives you a nice clean look. So just a little bit of glue on both sides and then I'm going to just get that right down in the center and squish it down and hold it for just a second. And that glue should stick right there. Okay, now we're ready to put on this final piece right here. So you could have it go this way or this way. I'm going to have mine go this way because it's like a little, a little house. And I have an extra little bunny. So this little bunny we're going to pop dot. All right. And I'm going to place it just kind of right here. Now you can put yours wherever you want. Mine's just hopping through the air at this house. Isn't that so, so cute? There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put together the um, rabbit hole. You can see I've put together most of the pieces here. I just wanna show you how I did that. So these are, once again, these are double pop dotted. So this one is glued right to the back. The bunny is single pop dotted. This grassy piece is pop dotted and this one is double pop dotted just to give that bigger dimension. And the back I just glued straight on. I didn't do any pop dots at all. So the main part of this I wanted to show you is putting it together. You can see there's the double pop dots on the bottom. So we're creating the bunny hole. So you're just going to score it um, from your machine and you are going to glue this down. So I'm going to fold it up just like that. And I would just do one side first. You can see how you're going to slowly glue this around. So I'm going to start right here. And you can see I'm using, I'm doing multiples. You don't have to do them one at a time. The reason these are like this, it just helps the curvature. As long as you get a little glue on each of them, as you curve them around, it will really help the way it sits, just like that. Now at this point, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna go do the other side so that they both curve nicely. This is where it gets a little tricky. You can see I'm not done right there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this side a bit. Just 
because it starts getting really tight here. Okay, so you can see what I've done is I'm tucking mine in. The truth is it doesn't matter whether you tuck it in, this tab at the bottom, or you do it out. Mine's just happening to tuck in. Actually, I'm gonna pull it out and just see if I can get it to fit even better. This is your call though. I think I'm gonna do out because then I can get this glue in there a little bit better. Just like that. Okay, so once you have those, both of those done, and even if you can't get this in as far as you would like, you can use this tab to glue it down better. So I'm just throw a little glue on that, tab down a bit there, and there you go. This is your little bunny heel, and then you're gonna finish it out by just adding all of these little flowers, and you can pop dot them or hot glue them in. They're tiny. Look how tiny that is. They are so tiny. So it does take a little bit of effort, but I think it makes it so cute. So I'd put some on the front. I'd put some on the back. You can use stick glue if you feel more comfortable with it, which might not be a bad thing because then you can move things around. You can finger press them if you want. I'm actually going to use stick glue because it make, might make it a little easier because it's kind of hard to get in there with the hot glue gun. I'm going to put them all over this grassy top. Okay, so now all the flowers are on. Now we have got these little leaves. Now, if I were really good, I would finger press these. Look how tiny these are. Just like that. That way I can get some dimension out of them. And I am going to use hot glue for these just so I can tuck them but let them stand up a little bit can you see that it just gives it a tiny bit of dimension okay so there you go cute little place for the bunnies to go finally I just want to talk about a few pieces that um, are shown flat in my store um, that I just want you to be aware of. I do have these garden beds, which are quite cute with carrots, and you just glue on the orange or the red for the garden. There is a white picket fence um, and a bunny. Let's see if I can show you that. So all of these have little fold lines. And then that way, it's pretty easy to glue down to your village. And then you do have some pieces that are just grass that you can lay underneath um, the fence lines or around the houses, okay? So let me just show you how you are gonna lay this out. Now you can lay it out any way you want, and I'm not, I'm not actually even sure how I'm gonna lay this out, but you should have three pretty large pieces, which is hard for you to see because you're looking from above, and then the grassy knoll. And um, you do need to leave some kind of space, depending on how you lay it out, but you should leave some kind of space for a garden. So I'm probably gonna lay out my garden right here, as well as a little bit of a fence line. Um, so I'm going to kind of play around with that right now. Okay, I've glued everything down. Let me show you how it looks. So. You can see I did mine in such a way that you were like looking forward and you put my garden in the front right here Isn't that so cute and you can see all the houses and I added some of these little green grasses and my pink bunny to the front it just makes such a sweet little vignette and really cute on a cake topper so let's just see if you can see it pretty good Anyway, make sure and subscribe to the channel so you can get more great tutorials.